incredible video yesterday, right, Tyler? Mm -hmm. A funnel cloud caught on camera by you reporter Jack Barrett. This was about 4 o'clock, is that right? Yes. Right about 4 o'clock at Dyer Park in West Palm. While that was happening, our storm team, Tyler among them, they were getting some uh, pretty, um, they were using some pretty amazing technology to pinpoint exactly where these tornadoes were touching down. We now know they were tornadoes. Mm -hmm. Meteorologist Tyler Malden here to explain that technology to us. We had two confirmed uh, tornadoes, went at Dyer Park, went at Okahili Park. Right. And we have some amazing tools to use before, during, and after severe weather events. Mm -hmm. They're all at our disposal. Uh, disposal and you know we've seen some amazing uh, advancements in weather technology, especially with w weather radars. And I'm going to go over one tool at our disposal here for you. This is called storm relative velocity. This is how we look at the winds within each storm cell. It tells us where the wind direction is and what, how strong those winds are. So we're looking at greens and reds here, and this is relative to the radar. So greens are going towards the radar, reds are going away from the radar. And I'm going to show you this right here. Here's the radar. It's on the left side of your screen. You got the greens right here in that circle. That means we have greens going towards that radar and we also have reds. Winds going away from the radar. So we have some rotation there too. And that means that we have that tornado right there. That's the Okahili tornado. Now I'm going to show you another uh, storm relative velocity image here for you. This is the Dyer Park tornado. And you see the rotation right there, the greens touching reds. You have the rotation, and this is what it produced, this dire part tornado, just a small EF0, but a tornado nonetheless. Now, we've had much better weather today 